Hey, before you check out this video, maybe go check out the new Discord. It is in the description. Thank you, and let's get right into things. This comes to us from Freedom From Religion Foundation. Uh, the FFRF calls out, um, is ALA Alabama? Alabama. Okay. Alabama. I was going to say Alaska, but then I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. I mean, Alaska is red, but no news comes out of Alaska. Alaska's Alaska's red in like a shoot self in foot on accident kind of way. It's weird. It's the Florida of the North. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that. Uh, so FFRF calls out um, Alabama State Senator's pro-indoctrination remarks. Freedom From Religion Foundation is responding to Alabama Senator Greg Reed's recent comments in support of school-sponsored religious indoctrination. Uh, you can tell from the highlights that I've read this before, so I should have already known that it was Alabama. Mm -hmm. But uh, brain fart, I guess. So yeah, they um, what they did was they... Uh, they had churches come in and give free snacks and drinks to their wrestling team. Um, and Which means they were, it's the same no. thing as having a politician give snacks during no, no, no. a, uh, that's oh? fine. That's fine. It's okay. okay. It's okay to have a church just give snacks and, and drinks to a wrestling team. That's fine. Mm -hmm. The problem is that in ex like this was a quid quid pro quo arrangement where, Oh, we will give you free snacks and drinks if you let us preach to the kids first. And they, oh. and they said, okay. Remember, oh, it's God. okay when it's, it's okay when it's Christianity because you're desensitized to it, but it's not okay if it were any other religion because reasons, I guess. I see you are having to hat yourself again. Guys, if, if Rhino despises what he's doing, can we just call it Hatred? There. I have a new hat. So you do. I hope, I... I hope this was clean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would kind of hope so, too. Otherwise, it's a bit weird. Our house is a bit, um, bit more chaotic than normally. Um, th these wouldn't normally be in the office at all. I, I'm not sure entirely how they got there, so... I want to believe you when you say that. So I would assume that it just fell out of a laundry <laughs> basket somewhere. I've seen what your room looks like when you're not... when you don't have everything cropped out, so... I want to believe you when you say that. Uh, Fennec is asking whose panties are those? Uh, you got two guesses. There, there are two people in this house whose they could be. We've seen you in lingerie. So probably yours, <laughs> but not necessarily. Um, yeah. Okay. That's... <laughs> ah, man, the life I'm of his, trouble. The things streamers do for Axolotl says Rhino wears panties. Canon. It is canon. Where my fan is that? Oh, someone else redeemed the hat now, so I gotta put something else on. You gotta put it. <laughs> and now you're starting to learn why uh, redeems are a double-edged sword. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I got I'm... to the point where I turned them off for when I'm doing uh, doing content because there, this is it, a hat, right? It can be. It's close enough. Yeah, you know. Looks like a hat, feels like a hat, it probably smells like a hat. The other one didn't smell like a hat. <laughs> it didn't smell like anything or didn't smell like a hat? Didn't smell like a hat is what I said. Oh, I, your mic cut out, so it just sounded like you said, didn't smell like... <laughs> the underwear didn't smell like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so this week we're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is part of what... Uh, this is how Reed responded to their letter, telling him to stop preaching to the kids. To him goes all the praise and all the glory. That should be our focus, and it should not be interrupted by out-of-state groups trying to push faith out of our lives and the lives of our children. We need more children, not less, to hear the good news of God's saving grace. Every religion ever that is a religion of recruitment, I'll go ahead and say, 
every religion that's a religion of, of recruitment has that exact same thought process. Mm -hmm. What means that yours is the correct one? Yeah. And um, furthermore, what gives you the right from that point on? So FFRF staff attorney Chris Line says, your remarks are alarming and a breach of your oath to support the U.S. Constitution, which protects students from religious indoctrination by their public schools. Um, they go on to say that parents, not public schools, have the right to determine their child's religion or non-religious, their religious or non-religious upbringing. Additionally, offering access to students for proselytization out, by outside churches as part of a school program violates the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment because these these kids are captive audience. They can't they can't go leave. away. They can't just leave. And even if they could technically leave, there's going to be the peer pressure to stay because if you leave, then you're going to be the kid who doesn't love Jesus. It'd be funny, though. There's a there's a part of me that wants to, like, just go back in time, not myself, but like go back to a younger age. But with the audience, the knowledge I have now of being an adult for all of the situations where I felt like I couldn't do something because of social pressure. But now I know I didn't have to give a fuck the entire time. But when you're a kid, you don't have that that context. That's why I want so, to go back and have that context. No, no. Oh, okay. Never mind. I didn't read the full context. Species uh, Demina says, hmm, rhino in a bowler hat. Hmm. And I was about to be like, I have a P.O. box, you know. But uh, just before that, Fennec the Rabbit was like, he's got a P.O. box. You, we can just mail him hats. You're going to get just a ton of hats now. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't checked my P.O. box since November. I should probably do that because usually people send me some stuff for Christmas. Hopefully you don't get what I got the very first month I had my P.O. box open. What did you get? Apparently there is a uh, service where you can mail people used panties. And that was sent to me on, on month one. Given what just happened on stream, I would not be surprised in the least if somebody did that. It was well before VTuber arc. Uh, so Rhino's being horny tonight. No, I just took the horns off because they hurt. I don't know if you can see the <laughs> red marks on my forehead from them, but like... Just take a couple wads of toilet paper, put it between at, your head and nose. That. No, look at, look at that. You can... That's bad. Um, anyway... FFRF recently settled a lawsuit against the school district in West Virginia after it similarly allowed a preacher to recruit students during the school day. Um, now, FFRF gets painted by Christians as the bad guys quite a bit. Uh, so it's worth mentioning that when they say settled a lawsuit, the school district had to pay for legal fees, and then the actual settlement was $1. So yeah, the FRF they doesn't are, like they are not out to get a bunch of money from these school districts. They're out to protect people's freedom of expression and religion. The First Amendment, the thing that they were complaining that kids are losing in or that stores are losing in the last one. Like they're just trying to make sure that kids have that. And I wasn't aware stores had freedom of religion. America's weird. Yeah, you, our stores have freedom of, of religion, but kids? No, fuck that. Uh, there's so much bonkers that goes on with all of this. It's it's honestly kind of tiring. Apparently, apparently Fennec just found those crochet hats with beards. Have you not seen those before, Fennec? I've seen so many of those. They make you look like a garden gnome. Yeah, they, they are pretty awesome, though. All right, so... As a state senator, it's his duty to support the U.S. Constitution, including the Establishment Clause, separating religion from government, and protecting the rights and conscience of all Al Alabamians regardless of their religious or non-religious beliefs. And uh, then they go on to say, in the face of an active campaign by Christian nationalists to declare the United States a Christian nation and undo many First Amendment protections as well as other civil liberties, his statements are profoundly un-American. Um, I like that they go to the point of saying that because all these people are always like, they're the jingoistic gung-ho, America first, America number one. It's like, hmm. Yeah, you're being un-American with your whole you must be my religion or else in the public school system. It's kind of funny considering that like, so when I was a, the version of American history that I was fed when I was growing up, uh, and most of this came from, you know, going to Pensacola Christian Academy. So bear in mind, it has a little bit of taint to it. But that taint. <laughs> the version that I was fed was that we left the Church of England because we wanted to be able to practice 
the right version of Christianity away from the oppressive church. That was what we were told as kids, because, of course, the Abeka literature, go figure. So it's it's just hilarious to me to see people go like, yeah, no, this draconian thing, that's good, actually, because it looks mm -hmm. like it's in the flavor of my god. Yeah. No, they they have demonstrated time and time again that they don't have principles that they stand on. They just want to be on the winning team. I mean, isn't that the entire point behind, you know, well, you don't want to go to hell, do you? Like, So it's not about loving God. It's about being afraid of a, of a fire pit. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, I say our public schools exist to educate, not indoctrinate in religion. Send a read to take a minute to read our godless constitution and refresh himself on the, uh, constitutional principles mandating that the government and the schools stay out of the religion business. I, I like how they again go out of their way to be like, you should read our godless constitution, because it is godless. You guys always forget that, but remember, America's only a Christian nation by population numbers, not by legislation. People yeah. seem to forget that, and that's shrinking. So, what's shrinking? The um, the population that's Christian. Oh yeah, the percentage of the was... population. They're, like Christianity worldwide is still growing, but uh, they're they are bleeding members to deconversion faster than any other religion on the planet, which is a weird thing to happen for the religion of the one true God. Well, you know they'll spin it into some type of persecution porn. Yeah, absolutely, they always do. Like, don't worry. We, we're not losing numbers. This is what you expect on the way to the final days. Oh, but we're getting numbers. That means that God is good and he's he's happy. <laughs> there's a there's a way to justify everything, including ass cancer. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's basically it for that one. Hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times, and the stability that Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say here. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here, and they would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Gemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Giuni, Kiratorian, Prisma, all of you, Sagitta, I'm not saying that part, and Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.